My sister and I grew up together, but aren't very close. It really wasn't from any drama. We didn't have a big fight to cause distance, but rather just have opposite personalities and interests. If I had to describe my attitude towards my sister, it would be apathetic love, like, she's my sister, so I want her to be healthy and happy, but we just, unfortunately, don't hang out, call a chat, etc. She recently received an opportunity to interview for a job near our hometown and reached out to see if she could stay with me for a week. My mother was ecstatic that my sister might be coming home finally. She moved across the country right after college and hasn't been back in almost 10 years, except for Christmas. She spends Thanksgiving with her in-laws or the one-off birthday, business trip, or vacation. I was more than happy to open my home up, thinking we could maybe bond or deepen our relationship. It was all awkward, but nothing horrible until the third night. I came home from drinks with my friends around 10 p.m. and went into my kitchen for a snack and realized that almost all of my food was gone. I'm not even exaggerating. I swear 90% of my pantry was just gone. I asked my sister, and she told me that she was shocked I ate anything with preservatives and unnatural, and that I was poisoning my body. So she took it upon herself to throw away everything she deemed unhealthy. Guys, I'm talking about so much food, both packaged and unpackaged. Even things like spices that weren't fresh were tossed. It was like someone had robbed my kitchen. I demanded that she pay to replace everything, but she dug her heels in and said that she was doing me a favor and that the way I ate was disgusting, her literal words. I know I'm biased, but my diet isn't even crazy. It's pretty much standard food you'd find at any grocery store. I was so upset I made her pack up and leave, and she ended up having to take a cab about 30 minutes away to stay with my parents. My mom is absolutely devastated that we're fighting and insists that I apologize in order to keep the peace because she hopes my sister will take the job and move back. I told my mom that if she wanted to lose not one but both daughters, then she'd keep pushing me to apologize for something I feel I have a right to be upset about. My dad says that she's been crying every night though, and I love my mom so much. I feel like a massive idiot for being stubborn about the situation. Edit. I did invite my sister out to drink with me. She declined, saying that she didn't like going to dive bars and wanted to stay sober because it was a work trip. I respected that decision, but I had already planned to go out with my girlfriends. It was a birthday. Also, I did the math and she threw away close to $1,000 worth of food. Not the idiot. Your sister was a self-righteous idiot and was lucky she only got kicked out. I would have been tempted to call the cops on that shit. Who visits someone's home and decides they have the right to play food police in someone else's home? Seriously, your sister needs a major reality check. And sorry, mom, but one of your daughters is an idiot and it is an OP. But if you try to force OP to apologize, then you're an idiot too. But OP, your parents are telling you that they care more about the sister who moved away than the one who stayed. Do with that what you will, OP. Spices can be hard to find and expensive, depending on your taste, and the food alone costs hundreds of dollars. Get that money back. I would consider taking her to small claims court. This is a hill I would die on. I can't imagine suddenly paying to replace all my food, spices included. Never mind the wastefulness of tossing perfectly good food that could have been donated to a charity pantry. Your parents' anger is misplaced. The idea that you're being asked to apologize is mind-boggling, suspicious. Like, maybe she hid the food in her car. Maybe she's struggling silently. Has she thrown away your parents' food also? Or was this just a special treat for you alone? No, I asked my dad, and she hasn't even mentioned anything about their diet. And they honestly eat 100% worse than me. I seriously don't know why my sister felt compelled to do that to me. And it's left me baffled, outraged, and kind of hurt. Not that it would make it okay, but I'm also a healthy young adult, so it's not like an intervention was needed. I've been traveling for work for three months. I matched up in an app with a woman who lives a few meters from my temporary apartment. After a few days of talking, we met a few times, and she told me that she's a single mother. We're just hanging out casually, and I wouldn't say we're friends, but we talk every day. 
Over the weekend, she showed up at my house with her daughter I had never seen before. She was a six-year-old girl. I was quite surprised and uncomfortable with this. Angela said she had an emergency at work and couldn't find a babysitter in time. We briefly discussed how awkward it was for her to just throw a child at me. Then Angela started crying, saying she had no support network and needed me. I thought that was kind of manipulative, but I agreed. An hour passed and the girl was quiet. I put a Disney movie on TV and started making dinner. I got a call from my boss asking me to go to the office. I was kind of desperate. I talked about having a kid at home and he said he could send a babysitter to my apartment. I sent a message to Angela. When the babysitter arrived, I told her that maybe Angela would come to get the child and I went to work. I worked for four hours and when I got home, only the babysitter was there. She said that Angela actually picked up the girl and I paid for the service. On Monday, Angela sent several messages saying that I was an idiot for leaving her daughter with a stranger and that she had entrusted the child only to me. I was extremely irritated and replied that I was also a stranger. I said, what kind of mother leaves a six-year-old girl with a guy she just met? I was immediately blocked on all social media. I vented to a few friends and some said it's very impolite to question a woman's abilities as a mother. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot, OP. Angela is the idiot for leaving her child with a man she barely knows. No offense, but you could be any kind of man. How would she know? Angela should have used a babysitting service of her choosing and made sure she felt okay with them. She didn't even ask also. She expressed she would have hired a babysitter but didn't find one. She was well taken care of. Plus, it's not like you had a great relationship with the kid, so only you should take care of it. She is so manipulative. You hit the nail on the head when you asked her, what kind of mother leaves her daughter with the guy she just met? She should be asking herself this question. The child is thankfully okay and you can move on. Holy smokes, this could have turned out really bad of OP. He doesn't know the mom well. He doesn't know the kid. What would have happened if the kid got hurt? Does he know any of the allergies, medical conditions, etc.? Even worse, he could be falsely accused of inappropriate actions, ruining his entire life. Yes, OP did leave the child with a babysitter, who probably had more experience watching kids than he does. I would have legit shut the door in her face after her initial insistence. Avoid all of this. That mom needs to come to Jesus talk because she's putting her baby in danger. It takes one time with the wrong person and you'll never be able to undo that damage. I, 44 female, have six children. I left my husband seven years ago as he was very abusive towards the children and me. I have four sons and two daughters. My eldest daughter, 23, left home one and a half years ago because she said I favored the boys over girls by making them do more chores, etc. Still, in my culture and religion, the girls are supposed to cook and clean and the boys go out to work and the boys do their fair share of housework and both my daughters work, but as they are girls, they are expected to do more. Around seven months ago, I got into a fight with my youngest daughter, 21, the night before she was going to an amusement park with her friends and she wasn't allowed to go. She ended up going anyway, and I rang her and her friends and told her to come back home, but she didn't. She came home at 11 p.m., which was very late, so I locked her out of the house for a few minutes. When I opened the door, she was gone, and my sons tried contacting her, but she wouldn't tell anyone where she was. We found out that she was dating this white guy, 14 years older than her, and she was lying to everyone about it. She would say she had to go into the office for work, but would be spending her time working from home at his place. Dating is not allowed in my religion, so this was a huge deal. When she returned home, her older brothers and I talked with her and told her to cut contact with the guy completely and swear on our holy book to never speak of him again. She refused, so we took everything away from her, including her phone, bank cards, passport, as we thought she would run away with him. She ended up barricading herself in her room for three days. She had an old phone that we thought she was using to speak to him. So when she went to the bathroom, I looked for it but couldn't find it. So I took her charger instead. When she realized it, she stormed into my room and harassed me and started screaming at me, threatening she'd call the police if I didn't give her property back. 
I refused and called for my son, 26, to help me, but they both ended up getting into a fight. The police were called after, and she left. She's been staying at the guy's house and came a couple of days later to collect her things. She's blocked me on everything, and I haven't spoken to her since. She speaks to her brother, 22, often, and asked to see my youngest son, tween, but I refused. She put me through a living nightmare and put shame on the family, and she has no right to have a relationship with him anymore. She also asked for his phone number through my son, 22, but I refused again. She went on a rant to her brother, 22, about how I'm the idiot for using her brother against her and how crappy he was for taking my side, but she doesn't have a right after everything she's done, and my youngest son is better off without her. So, am I the idiot? You are the idiot. The way you treat your girls versus boys unequally and preventing them from having a relationship without you being involved, you are destroying any relationship you may have with her or that she'll have with her siblings. It sounds like you're just as abusive towards your kids, but in a different way than your husband. So yeah, you're a big time idiot. You need therapy. You are the idiot. You drove your own daughter away. And then you have the nerve to say that she put you through a living nightmare? Maybe if she had a supporting family, she wouldn't need to run away with a man 14 years older than her. She was 21, an adult, and had to be home by 11. I'm not even going to get into making your daughters do chores and work while giving your sons a pass. Now you're alienating her from her siblings and using them as a weapon against her. She drove both daughters away. The eldest departure just wasn't as dramatic. OP taking away your adult daughter's bank card, passport, and phone to keep her from leaving because she didn't follow your rules is abuse. You cannot force your adult children to adhere to your religion. Your children likely view the world differently, so your appeal to religion or how things are supposed to be doesn't have the same effect. I, teen male, had never been into plants before until my aunt came to visit us from Wyoming and she gave me seeds because I told her I was bored from home doing school online. So she brought some for my grandma, but she gave some to me too. So maybe I could try and see if I liked it. And I really did. Like I was even taking the bus to Home Depot, buying pots and good soil for my plants and looking up how to take care of them. The one I loved the most was my peace lily and it just felt good when I saw them grow because I'm the one taking care of them. My dad always thought it was dumb. He never tells me why, just that he thinks it's stupid to waste time on plants and that it's not a guy thing. My dad always wants me to do other stuff, not look up how to take care of more plants, especially because I was talking to them about making a garden in the back with other stuff. Last week after coming home from my cousin's game, all my pots and stuff were gone from my room it's because he threw them out in the morning because I need to do something else with my free time. And I don't know, it made me want to cry. My mom yelled at him after telling her what he did, but he never told me he was sorry. For me, it sucks because I worked hard to take care of them. To throw it away without telling me? All week, even today for his birthday, I don't talk to him when he tries to. Today didn't even tell him happy birthday, which got him really mad. Now my mom is definitely thinking I'm going too far. She believes it's already in the past, so it's not fair to hold it against him. And it's even ruder not to tell him happy birthday. But I really don't want to talk to him. He hurt my feelings bad. But is it bad that I'm ignoring him? I'm doing it because right now I'm too mad to want to talk to him about anything. Also because it obviously bothers him a lot. So that's why I keep doing it. Does that make me the idiot since it was his birthday today? Not the idiot, dude. Your dad is a misogynistic bully. You found joy in something, and he was wrong to take it from you. My mom destroyed a split-leaf philodendron I grew from a baby years ago. I still harbor anger about it. You have a nurturing nature. Your aunt saw that, and your plants came from your grandma. Of course they were special. Your dad was wrong, and your mom is too for dismissing your feelings. Your dad hurt you deeply when he threw him out. He needs to be sorry first before healing can begin. Great big hugs to you, OP. So sorry for your loss. Also, your mom is wrong for saying it's in the past. Your dad hasn't repented or apologized. 
He still thinks he's entitled to dictate and control what you do and destroy your property if you don't obey. That's not in the past. That's who he is, and it is still and will continue to be a problem. This isn't just about the plants. It's about the bigger picture. Your father is controlling and awful. I, female 19, and my boyfriend 25, met each other around eight months ago, and he's the first person I've ever been with, so it's exciting. I really love being with him, and I think he's a really special person in my life. I think the only thing I don't really like about him is that he's very close to his mom. There's nothing wrong with loving your mom, but I think my boyfriend is too close with his mother. I'm fine with his visits to his mom, him giving her money, gifting her stuff, but I think sometimes he crosses the line. He would tell her about my life, and it's stuff that I don't really want other people to know. I only tell him those things because he's my boyfriend, but I wouldn't want to tell anybody else. He tells her about my financial situation, my insecurities about my body, the fact that I don't sleep early, the way I spend money, my childhood memories, and that's all I've found out until now. I would normally talk to his mom like every two days, and she'll casually mention something like, you should do something about your sleep habits. Don't spend too much on XYZ. I think you should learn to cook. Your friends are bad. And the list goes on. The first time I was told something like that, I just awkwardly laughed and said, I didn't tell you that. I told my boyfriend that he couldn't tell my stuff to his mother, or I won't really tell him anything. He would argue and then just go, all right, I was trying to help, but I don't care. Yesterday, I was having a terrible day and had to talk to her. She told me that I should stop talking to my father because he doesn't seem like he loves me. I've had fights with him for multiple reasons that don't concern her. So I shut that crap down and said, I'm sorry, but I've told my boyfriend's name not to tell you stuff, but he does and I don't appreciate it. She just said that I was being extremely rude and disrespecting her. I told her that she was being extremely invasive and I didn't like it. She then says that I don't have a mother and it's perfect like that because I simply don't deserve one. This was her reply to the fact that I didn't want her to act like my mom. I simply said, you're a horrible woman, then cut the call. She called my boyfriend, told him everything I said, and now he's angry at me. He was at work and he screamed at me on the phone. He then goes on to say that because I didn't grow up with a mom, he just wanted to make sure I get the love now, which is BS. He's with his mom and not speaking to me. Our mutual friend that I met through him doesn't think I'm wrong, but a bit of an idiot to just straight up tell his mom that she's being invasive. So am I the idiot? Not the idiot. He's just going to become an even worse mama's boy. Run. Take it from someone who was with a mama's boy. It only worsens, and you will always be made to feel guilty if you ask for normal boundaries. Also, this age gap is worrying. You guys are in two different phases of life that can set up an unequal power dynamic. It's also being expressed now in the form of boundary pushing. Honestly, I'm not one to say to just dump a person, but this is toxic and ridiculous. You set boundaries, and he ignored them multiple times, and his mom gave you rude, invasive, unsolicited advice. You defended yourself, and they both threw you not having a mom in your face. This isn't a healthy situation, and if things don't change quickly, I recommend finding someone way more respectful. OP, you saw the red flags. You know what to do. And run, don't walk from this relationship. I know you're excited because it's your first one, but this is only going to get worse. He doesn't respect your wishes at all now. He won't in the future either.